What's up guys, this is Heist. Today we're coming at you from the Colorado Railroad Museum again. I just put out a video earlier this week from the museum featuring the locomotive that I'm on, Denver and Rio Grande Western number 491. And a lot of people noticed that there's a little house on the tender and they didn't know what it was about. There was like at least 10 comments, people being like, what's the point of the box on the tender? So why don't we go take a look at it and uh, start with how we get up to it. <laughs> this is the uh, this is the coal pile as it sits. Got a couple different sets of doors we can have open and close. You can have it piled all the way up to the height of the cab roof, which makes it a lot more challenging to get up, but there are little stirrups so you can climb up and over if you need to. But uh, <clears throat> right now I just get to play climb up the coal mountain. So I'm gonna stick this up somewhere and uh, we'll go from there. Very graceful, of course. Get a nice view from up here though. Come to the back of the tender, into the slope sheet. We have this piece that we fabricated back when we returned 491 to service. And here is the aforementioned house. The slang term for it is the dog house. But the real term for it is the head end brakeman's cupola. So like a caboose has a cupola, so does the locomotive in this case. And it is specifically mounted on the tender, ahead of the water tank. Or on top of the water tank, ahead of the water hatch. Now, let's take a look inside here. All right, take a look inside. Ever important safety first message. We've got the locomotive number in case you forget. And we've got a couple different hooks here to hold the door open. So you can sit with the door open or closed. We got windows on either side with protection from cinders and you can see that they certainly get hit with it. And then there is a coach seat. And then for us, we have our boiler treatment and everything we need for that when we add water to the tender. So that all lives inside here. And then we have steam heat. That's right. We got heated seats in this thing. So, <coughs> This is actually like a, a really comfortable place to sit. It's a seat out of, <laughs> originally it would have been an extra coach seat from a passenger car uh, that they called out to be used in here. But I believe this is actually an old spare seat out of a, I'd have to ask Al, but it's out, I believe it's out of an old Ford Model A from the, uh, from similar vintage as 491, so it fits. But this is a nice little cozy place to sit. But we haven't answered, why does it exist? So the dog house or the head end brakeman's cupola is kind of a holdover from old style train crew operation. So these days we only have two man train crews and that's subject to politics of course that we won't get into, but you have an engineer and a conductor. But back in the day you had five person train crews. You had your engineer, you had your conductor like we do now, you also had a fireman shovel coal up in the engine. Then you had two brakemen. You had a brakeman at the rear of the train and a brakeman at the front of the train. So head end brakeman, this is kind of his office. And I saw a lot of comments that said that this is a holdover from when we didn't have air brakes. And that is partially kind of true. That is where the large crew sizes originally came from. You even needed more brakemen than than just those two, uh, depending on the kind of train you ran. But the reason I don't think that that's terribly applicable here is that 491 was built in 1928 and it got the doghouse later in its life. It got the doghouse in, I believe, 1935. Um, as did the K36s and the K37s, the rest of the class built without them, got them added later. And they were built with air brakes because it was in the 1920s already. So. Of course, the, you know, it's not related to the air brakes. It's a place for the head-end brakeman to sit. And 
the purpose of having a head-end brakeman is that if you have any cars to remove right behind the tender and set out, rather than have your conductor and brakeman from the rear walk the whole length of the train, you got a guy already up here, he can do an easy move, put the train back together and get going. So it makes a lot more sense for a lot of the operations that we had back in the day. <coughs> that and in the case of our narrow gauge engines, there's really not that much space in the cab for another guy to sit. And so, hence, we added the doghouse. Or, again, the head end brakeman's cupola. So it's a really neat little thing and very cozy place to ride. Tenders don't ride terribly well, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. Particularly when it's empty and the springs are all <laughs> springy, less dampened from the weight. But that's what it's for. We rebuilt 491's doghouse. 2015-ish. We ran her originally without it because the, uh, the old one fell apart. All the steel is original, but we had to uh, build new wood. It's all white oak and it's held up pretty well. It's a nice thing. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching.